How to replace a ceiling fan. So your old fan is looking a little worn out, or maybe it just stopped working altogether. You need that cool breeze on those balmy summer days, so it's up to you to switch out your fan for a better option. Changing the fan can be a little intimidating, but you're up to the challenge if you just go step by step and be sure to read the directions that come with your new fan. Removing the old fan. Check if you need a permit. Some cities require permits when you are changing out ceiling fans. Others just require them if you're moving from a light to a ceiling fan. It's best to check ahead of time to see if you need to get a permit. Contact your city permit office for more information. You may also be able to look the information up online. Flip the power off at the breaker box. You don't want to work on live wires, and just turning it off at the switch ISNT enough to keep you safe. Find the room on the breaker box. Flip the switch so there is no power going to that room. Always flip the power switch to the fan to make sure the power has actually been turned off. Always flip the power switch to the fan to make sure the power has actually been turned off. Take down the canopy covering the wiring. The canopy is the part up near the ceiling that is over the wires. Usually, you'll need to unscrew a few screws to take off the canopy. Some may twist off, though. It just depends on your fan. If you can't figure it out, try looking up the fan on the internet for help. The screws will likely be near the ceiling. You may need to slide the canopy over a notch on one screw to pull it down. The screws will likely be near the ceiling. You may need to slide the canopy over a notch on one screw to pull it down. Voltage check the wires. Just to be on the safe side, you should check the wires one more time to see if they have power. To check them, you'll need a non-contact voltage tester. All you do is place the voltage tester up near the wires, and it will indicate whether the wires are hot or not. Check each wire separately. Read the directions for your particular tester to see what indicators it uses. Some use a green light if there's no power and a red light if there is power. Others will chirp as they get near hot wires. It's a good idea to test your voltage tester on an outlet first. You can stick in the hot side small side of an outlet to test if it's working. Keep in mind, these readers only work on plastic insulated wires, not metal insulated wires. Read the directions for your particular tester to see what indicators it uses. Some use a green light if there's no power and a red light if there is power. Others will chirp as they get near hot wires. It's a good idea to test your voltage tester on an outlet first. You can stick in the hot side small side of an outlet to test if it's working. Keep in mind, these readers only work on plastic insulated wires, not metal insulated wires. Pull the caps off. You'll need to twist the caps a bit to pull them off. Start with the black wires first, then do the white. Finish up with the bare, green wires. NC, ARIA label equals, link to reference 8, greater than. Pull the wires apart. As you take off each cap, you should notice two wires that have been twisted together. Often, they'll spring apart as you untwist the cap, but you may need to pull them apart yourself. One wire is from the fan, and one is from the ceiling, which is why they need to come apart for you to pull the fan down. Take the fan down. Now, you'll need to move the fan off the mounting bracket. Often, the fan will have a ball or something similar that just slides off the bracket, though you may need to jiggle it a bit. It can help to have someone support the fan as you pull it off its bracket and slide it free. Remove the bracket. Your new ceiling fan will have its own bracket that fits that fan perfectly, so you need to take down the old bracket. However, leave the mount that attaches to the ceiling in place. The bracket fits over the mount. Check the wires and box. Now is a good time to check if the wires look frayed. You can also check the mount, brace above the bracket to make sure it is secure. It should NT wiggle around, and it should be screwed into the ceiling. Also, look at where the wires come out. It should have a plastic connector around the hole, so that the wires are up against the edge of the mount because the mount is metal. If you have a problem with any of the above, you may need to replace the mount or the wiring. If that's the case, you'll likely want to call in a professional.
If you have a problem with any of the above, you may need to replace the mount or the wiring. If that's the case, you'll likely want to call in a professional.